In Godzilla vs. Kong, Godzilla was able to overwhelm and defeat the big ape. But in a time long forgotten in the MonsterVerse, thousands of years before the events of the movies, the big G-Man got his tail whooped by one of Kong's ancient relatives. According to the information given to us in the official MonsterVerse graphic novel Godzilla Dominion. To summarize, Godzilla used to have an ancient lair, even older than the one seen in Godzilla King of the Monsters, until one day, this mighty Kong came, defeated the G-Man, and ran him out of his own home. But how did Godzilla lose to this Kong? when he was able to handle everything the modern ape threw at him with relative ease. In this video, we are going to theorize how this ancient Kong was able to defeat Godzilla. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be kept up to date on more MonsterVerse theories, and let's get to it. Let's go straight to Godzilla Dominion and go in depth on the information revealed here about Godzilla's ancient lair and rival. It all starts right after Godzilla attempts to go back to his lair seen in King of the Monsters, where he finds it utterly destroyed and incapable of supporting him any longer. So he heads out in search of a new lair. And this is where he remembers one of his ancient homes that he must have had way before the lost human civilization built the city lair for the G-Man scene in the movie that was destroyed. Godzilla, with the help of Mothra's gift, was now able to feel the entire planet around him like he had never before. The winds of the earth reminded him of a place from long ago. A place that he could be calling home already, if not for the rival. The one who drove him out. Godzilla then ventures deep out to sea, searching for this ancient land he once cherished. His search for a new home continues. He seeks the place from long ago. The winged one's gift leads him on. The rival is there. This dialogue from Dominion shows how Godzilla still holds on to this ancient defeat quite closely, and lets us know that he holds quite the grudge for this rival. In the comic, we see a silhouette of what is clearly a Kong-like figure. The dark shadowy appearance seems to almost portray the Kong as a demon or monster in Godzilla's memories. This could be one reason why Godzilla attacked our modern day Kong so aggressively, like he was trying to kill an old demon of his. Godzilla then has a quick kumbaya moment in the dark tunnels between the ocean and the hollow earth, and remembers the way to his old lair. Upon arriving at the land he once called home, Godzilla notices how the place has changed. Others have come here, they did not leave. The rival is here, he can sense it, and yet something isn't right. He signals his intentions. But no reply comes. It's clearly been a very long time since Godzilla had last come to this land. As even he is caught off guard by how drastically different things look now. One interesting point described here is how Godzilla knows that a threat is still on the island. But little does he know that it's not the ancient Kong, but that it's actually Tiamat, a sea serpent titan of epic proportions that we've talked about on the channel before. This alludes that, although Godzilla can clearly sense where an alpha threat is all around the world, but he can't quite decipher which beast the threat is, only that it's something that can challenge him. After a hard fought battle with Tiamat, Godzilla is able to press on towards his old lair. The journey is nearly over. This was his old lair, but something's not right. His rival was not the same. Before the serpent was here, there was another. That one being the ancient Kong. Now the Kong has been gone for a long time clearly, as a skull is all that is left of this old rival, which gives us a mystery of how it died. Possibly it was old age. We know that the Kongs age like mortal beings and will not live forever like many of the other titans. Or it could have been that the entire island flooded, making sense with how Godzilla was confused on the appearance of the land now. Either drowning the Kong, or allowing Tiamat to come in and kill the ape. It did show us all the dead bodies of countless other titans that had come to the island, and then been killed, likely by Tiamat. The comic did state how the island is drastically different now, meaning it was likely consumed by rising ocean levels due to the end of the Ice Age perhaps. And Tiamat is even more deadly than Godzilla in the sea. So the Sea Serpent Titan could have possibly challenged and killed the aging Kong that was also dealing with its island slowly sinking. Throughout King Kong history, the islands that these apes like to inhabit always tend to be flooded at some point in the story. Dead now or not, this ancient Kong whooped Godzilla's tail. But we still don't know how. Godzilla Dominion is very cryptic in how it explains this ancient rival to Godzilla and gives no insight into how it was able to drive the G-Man away from his lair. 
but we have piled together a list of ideas that could explain why Godzilla lost, so let's get to them. First off, the area shown in this realm both in the ancient times and in the present time looks to be somewhere in the actual Hollow Earth. In the back there behind the ancient Kong, you can clearly see the same strange phenomenon happening with what appears to be a mountain range stretching down the ceiling of this mysterious lair. Looks a whole lot like the Hollow Earth seen in Godzilla vs Kong, or at the least, a cave system somewhere in between, that has many of the same land characteristics. The terrain here appears to be very tight and cramped, making it difficult for a big brute like Godzilla to easily move around. But for a nimble beast like a Kong, this is perfect. It's already said that the Hollow Earth is the natural home of the Kongs, where they are perfectly suited for traversing the lands. This gives the ancient Kong a massive advantage that the current ape never had against Godzilla, maybe a little bit in Hong Kong to give you an idea of what it would look like how he was able to jump around from building to building, he would do that in the middle of this cave from rock to rock. The only image of this Kong also shows a monster of epic proportions. This guy looks absolutely savage. Scars can be seen all over the creature's massive body, showing just how seasoned of a warrior this beast was. The modern Kong in the movies had mostly only battled against lowly skull crawlers with the highest foe he ever fought being Kamazots before Godzilla. And when he did meet up with Godzilla, he was outmatched against a foe like the Big G-Man. This ancient Kong probably had fought Gojira and other major titans plenty of times before running Godzilla out of his lair. It wasn't caught off guard by Godzilla at all, judging from its appearance, it likely welcomed the fight. There was also the chance that it could have been even larger than our Kong in the movies, maybe the biggest ever for the species. Alongside being potentially the largest, this Kong could have also been the most powerful Kong ever. And back in those times, Godzilla had yet to gain all the power from Mothra, the atomic bomb, and everything else that happened to make him the hulking monster that we saw in Godzilla vs Kong. Back then, the G-Man was weaker, smaller, and not nearly as angry as he is in the movies making the fight with the Super Kong much more extreme than the one with the modern Kong. Godzilla might have been even smaller than this Kong, but there is nothing confirming that. The last factor in how Godzilla could have probably lost to this ancient Kong was that his atomic blast might not have been as mighty as it is in current times. It's safe to say that the G-Men's ranged weapon was the deciding factor in the modern battle, but perhaps thousands of years ago it was nowhere near as mighty as it was in the end of Godzilla vs Kong. Maybe he could only use it sparingly like we've seen in King of the Monsters, and not shooting it out like he had some sort of unlimited ammo cheat going on at the end of Godzilla vs Kong. This would give the ancient Kong just one more advantage over Godzilla. All of these reasons could have very well added up to Godzilla losing to this ancient Kong, and how the old ape chased him out of this lair. I know it's hard for some Godzilla fans to accept Godzilla ever losing or being weaker than another monster, especially a Kong. But in the lore, with the advantages described earlier, a mighty Kong, the best there ever was, would have been able to defeat a less juiced up G-Man. How do you think Godzilla lost to this ancient Kong? Do you agree with my theories? Comment down below. You know what to do, subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't already, like the video, comment down on the video, share it around with your monster loving fans, and do all that good stuff.